In this video, we are going to deep dive into DB5's latest attribute management. So if you are someone who is tired of spending hours tweaking your little design details in your website like font, color or spacing just to keep everything consistent, well, buckle up because DB5's attribute management is here to change the game. And in this video, we are going to cover what DB5's attribute management is, why it is a designer's dream and how you can use it in real world scenarios to create some amazing looking websites. So if you are ready to level up your website design skills, then let's get started. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB Visual Builder. Just a heads up, DB5 is perfect for new sites, but hold off converting existing one for now. And if you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, head over to the video description and check out our complete blog post. I'm sure you will find it helpful. So what exactly is attribute management in DB5? It's a powerful feature that transforms how you manage and apply styles, preset and content across your site. Whether you are updating a button's typography, duplicating a fully styled CTA module or resetting a section to its default look, attribute management makes it faster and more intuitive than ever before. So let's go ahead and dive into the Divi Visual Builder and see how attribute management works. Alright, so here we are inside our Divi 5 Visual Builder and in order to understand attribute management, let's go ahead and add few modules on this page. So let's start by adding a blurb module here and in order to style this blurb module, let's go ahead and do some styling. So we go into this right hand side panel. And let's say I add a background color to it. And for this one, I'm going to use my option group preset. So let's say I use this one. And I also go ahead and add my icon here like this. And if I go in design, I can go ahead and click on border. So I'll just add 20 pixel round. This is again coming from my option group preset that I have already set. And I'll also add a box shadow here like this and for my text here let's say i select another option group like this one so this is how my blurb is going to look like now just to make it a little unique i'm just going to enter number one here just to give it a text so that we can identify this is our first blurb module and now if in case I need to add a new blur module, all I need to do is just click on this plus icon, search for a blur module and here we have it. Now in order to make this one look identical to the original one that we have just created, I can simply go ahead and right click here. I can select this option here. It says copy attribute and now I just need to right click on this new blur module and I have a new option that says paste attribute and here is the magic. We have a lot of other options with this. If I click on paste all attributes like this, it's going to replicate everything, even the content along with all the stylings. Let me just undo that. But if I don't want to duplicate my content, I can click on paste blurb design attribute or I can also use paste blurb presets. So if I click on this, it's going to apply all the presets that I have used in my previous blurb to the new one. And just to verify that, we can see in the background we have this lime group preset. And if we go in the design, we have all the presets that we have created for the first blurb. But we have a unique content here. So this is how we can quickly replicate our styling from one module to another one. Now let's take another example. If we scroll down here, we have a form on the left hand side and a CTA module on the right. Now let's go ahead and do some styling here for our CTA module. And if I select here and now for this CTA, I can go in my background. Maybe I can select a color I'll do a little bit of styling here. And if I go in the design, I can style my button as well. So let's give it a background color, maybe the black one. And maybe I can go ahead and change the button color as well. And if I scroll down, I can add some border. Let's use our preset here. And for the text, again, we will choose some styling. 
like this. All right, so now once our styling is done, let's say I want the similar styling on this form as well. But the catch is, I don't want everything in the styling here. I just want to copy the styling of this button. So all I need to do is just right click on this module and then we can copy attributes. And now if I right click on my form module, I can go to paste attribute and this time we are not going to paste style or presets. We are going a little bit down here and here we have an option for paste select style attribute and from this we are going to select paste button attributes. If I click on this, you can see the magic happen here. So now we have just copied the style of our button, nothing else. But just in case, let's say we don't like this and we want to roll back our styling and if it's too late to do undo, we can simply right click on this and then reset our attribute. So we can click on reset style attribute and boom, it's back to its original style. Now in order to copy the attribute, we can right click and then click on copy attribute or let's say we select this module here and we only want to copy the background. So we can click here and right click on this and here is an option for copy background attribute. So this is how we can copy a selective attribute only. And let's say if we want to copy the body text, we can simply click on this and right click. Here we can copy the body text attribute or we can reset it if we want. So there are different ways how we can copy or paste these attributes on our modules. Now why you should get excited about attribute management? because it's a game changer for efficiency and precision. Imagine needing to update a style across your entire site without attribute management. You'll be stuck making the same edits over and over again. But with this feature, you can apply preset or copy attributes in a single click, make rapid prototyping and large scale changes a breeze. So whether you are a designer crafting a sleek portfolio or a developer managing a massive client site, attribute management empowers you to build professional consistent websites faster than ever before. And that's a wrap for attribute management using Divi 5. This feature is a ticket to copying, pasting and resetting attributes like a pro and building some gorgeous and consistent websites faster than ever. So ready to give it a spin, then go ahead and download DB5 Public Alpha today and see how it transforms your workflow. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.